Many years ago, there was no such thing as money. People just traded items and skills, and that's the way it stayed with us animals. Take Ngadere, for example. He has a lot of bananas, but what he really wants is some pumpkins. And then we have Tiny Tembo, who has plenty of pumpkins, but wants some bananas too. That's easy then. Gadere can swap some of his bananas for some of Tiny Tembo's pumpkins. Very good. But now Uncle T has arrived. He wants some of Ngadere's tasty bananas, and Ngadere wants some coconuts from way up in the tree. Maybe Uncle T can help him get the coconuts in exchange for some bananas. Yes, Uncle T can trade his skill in reaching up high for what he wants, bananas. Exactly. So why wouldn't the tailor take Kibana's notebook in exchange for making our costume? Look again. Now Tiny Tembo is back. This time he wants some coconuts too. So Uncle T can get them for him in exchange for pumpkins. Aha, uh -huh, but Uncle T doesn't like pumpkins. So what can Tiny Tembo give Uncle T in exchange for Uncle T's skill? That's why in the forest we use nuts to represent a value. One banana is worth three nuts. One pumpkin is worth six nuts. And getting a coconut down from a tree is worth four nuts. Look! I get it! You trade labor and products for nuts. And then you can use the nuts to exchange for things you actually want. Like grapes! Exactly, Amani! <laughs> Did you like this video and want to watch more? Yay! Subscribe to get exclusive access to premium content and more. Only in the Bongo Playroom. Free for download today.